whoa, okay, buckle up, yeah. because we are diving headfirst to do some serious tech today. Sounds intriguing. What are we looking at? The NKA-3. It's Turkey's newest combat drone, and it's causing quite a stir. I have heard whispers. What's so special about it? Another drone. Oh, this isn't just another drone. This thing is a game changer. They just finished its first test flight, and get this, with live ammunition. Wow, they're not messing around, are they? Making a statement for sure. Exactly, and the statement is, we're here, we're stealthy, and we mean business. We're talking jet-powered, designed to be practically invisible to radar, the whole shebang. A stealth drone, that's a whole different ball game. I can see why everyone's interested. Absolutely, and it's not just the tech under the hood. The NKA-3 has this incredibly unique design, something called a flying wing. No tail, just sleek lines. Do you ever see anything like it? I can't say I have. Sounds pretty futuristic. What's the thinking behind that design? Stealth. It's all about minimizing that radar signature. The less there is to reflect radar signals, the harder it is to detect. Makes sense. Like trying to track a ghost, right? <laughs> but how effective is that kind of stealth technology? Is it really that hard to detect? Well, nothing is completely invisible to radar, but the NKA-3 gets pretty darn close. I can imagine. In modern warfare, being spotted is often as good as being hit. So something that can just slip under the radar, that's a massive advantage. You got it. It's like trying to hit a moving target that's also invisible. In the dark, good luck. Plus, it's not like this thing is slow and lumbering. This is where it gets really cool. Ooh, how fast are we talking? This thing can hit speeds up to 450 knots. Hold on, 450 knots? That's over 500 miles per hour. You got it. Basically, New York to Chicago, in less than an hour. Now that's impressive. And I heard rumors of a possible engine upgrade in the future. There's definitely talk about it. They're considering adding a second engine. What would that do? Make it even faster? Oh yeah. We'd be talking supersonic speeds, potentially. Supersonic drone. That's honestly kind of hard to even fathom. It's next level stuff. Yeah. And think about it. This could completely change how air combat is fought, evading even the most advanced air defense systems, potentially. Wow, that's a lot to take in. And this level of technology is being developed right now. It really makes you think about where things are headed. It's mind-blowing. And here's another thing. All this, this is all Turkish-made. Designed and built entirely domestically. Really? That's a huge deal. Talk about a power move. Right. This isn't just about building a cool drone. It's about Turkey stepping onto the world stage as a major player in defense technology. I can see that. This is a statement to the world. We're not just buying the best anymore. We're building it. That's got to have some serious geopolitical implications. Oh, absolutely. And we're going to unpack all of that right after this quick break. You know, it's interesting you should say that because the TAI general manager, Mehmet Demir Olu, actually said something along those lines in a recent interview. Really? What did he say? He emphasized that this is about way more than just building a cool gadget. It's a clear sign that Turkey is fully capable of holding its own in the defense tech game. Which let's be honest, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, this is a country that's often been reliant on other nations for their military hardware. And not just reliant, but sometimes even restricted or held back, you know, like when they wanted to buy certain systems and faced export limitations or political pressure. Exactly. So developing something as advanced as the NKA-3 domestically, that's a huge step towards independence, not to mention what it says about their technological capabilities. It definitely turns heads, and let's not forget, this isn't their first rodeo in the drone game. You're right. We've got to mention the Bayraktar TB2. I mean, that thing was everywhere, making headlines and conflicts all over the globe. And for good reason. It was effective, relatively affordable, and honestly kind of shifted the playing field in some of those conflicts. No kidding. Everyone was talking about it. And now imagine the NKA3 hitting that same global market but this time, with stealth capabilities and a potential for supersonic speeds, it's like, be a Raktar on steroids, you know? Okay, now that's an image. But seriously, what kind of impact are we talking here? Well, think about it. Stealth tech alone is a game changer. But combine that with speed and potential firepower, that's a whole new ball game, strategically speaking. That's got to have some countries a little on edge, right? Especially with turkeys. Let's just say interesting geopolitical neighborhood. Oh, absolutely. This throws a whole new wrench into things. Turkey's geographic location has always made them important, but now they're not just a strategic location, they're a potential powerhouse in drone technology. Right, and you know, we can't just talk about the military side of this, mm -hmm. because according to some of the stuff we've been reading, the NKA-3 isn't just about blowing things up. Apparently, it has some other surprising uses. 
It's true. They've highlighted its potential for things like intelligence gathering, surveillance, even disaster relief efforts. They're really pushing the multi-role aspect. Okay, so we've got a supersonic, stealthy, multi-purpose drone developed entirely by a country looking to make its mark on the world stage. That's a lot to process. It is a lot. And it's easy to get caught up in all the high-tech specs and geopolitical maneuvering. But we have to remember that at the end of the day, this technology will have a real-world impact on real people's lives. And that impact could be huge, both positively and negatively. It's true, you know? It's easy to get swept up in all the excitement of new tech. But we've got to remember, there are always two sides to the coin. Absolutely. For every positive application, there's always the potential for misuse. Like with the NKA3 being marketed as this multi-role platform, we have to ask ourselves, multi-role for who? And to what end? Exactly. And it goes even deeper than that. We're talking about a future with increasingly autonomous systems, machines making decisions that could have life or death consequences. Okay, now that's a thought. And something I think a lot of people might not even be considering yet. It's one thing to talk about drones being controlled remotely, but actual artificial intelligence piloting these things. And not just piloting, but making strategic decisions on the fly based on algorithms and pre-programmed objectives. It's a whole new world of warfare with a whole new set of ethical dilemmas. So where do we even begin to unpack all of this? It feels like we're on the verge of something huge, but we're still figuring out what it all means. I think the first step is awareness. Recognizing that these aren't just hypothetical scenarios anymore, this is the reality we're moving towards. And with that awareness comes a responsibility to engage in the conversation. To not just sit back and let the technology dictate the terms, but to actually have a say in how it's developed and used. Precisely. We've all got a role to play in shaping this future. The technology itself isn't inherently good or bad. It's how we choose to use it. So to everyone listening, this isn't just about a cool new drone. It's about the bigger picture. It's about the kind of future we want to see. Stay informed, ask questions, and make your voice heard. This has been a fascinating deep dive. Until next time. Join Intel Prime channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members, other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.